Hi there, Richard Pavlidis here again, and today we're going to keep talking about melodic shapes. So last week we learned that these lines can sort of fit together to construct longer lines, and I showed you a few examples of how that works. And today we're just going to take that one step further by taking a few of these shapes and practicing them all the way through the scale. So instead of playing a scale all the way up, or a scale in thirds, or in triads, or in diatonic sevenths, the way the the way we did all the way back in lesson one, we're taking these shapes and we're playing them from each degree of the scale, starting on the one, starting on the two, starting on the three, and so on. So I have a few examples here using the C major scale. The first one is just one, two, three, five, that very common one made so famous by John Coltrane. <laughs> Second one is one, three, five, four. So we're going up a major triad and then voice leading back down to the next note. The third one we have one, two, three, one. example we have one three two one so sort of the reverse of the previous one <laughs> Number five, we have a kind of broken triad, so we've got three, one, five, three. Number six, we're just going up the scale in fourths. Number seven, we extend that and we have a stack of fourths. So one, four, seven, two, five, one, three, six, two, and so on. Number eight, we have three, four, three, one. Number nine is just a combination of exercise three and exercise eight. So we've got one, two, three, one, three, four, three, one. And this is a really good example right here of how we can use these exercises to connect and form larger phrases. So you'll find in the PDF all these exercises will be written out in all 12 keys so you'll be able to practice that and that will be a, a really good practice resource for you in uh, developing some of this language and being able to put it together. I uh, hope you found this useful. As always, please email me if you've got any questions, if anything doesn't make sense, or if, uh, if you have any suggestions for future lessons. Um, happy practicing, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Oh. <laughs>